Hello and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make very balanced uh, plasma tetris basically and this is one of the best methods I have found so far. So I'm going to build a 9 by 9 cannon basically, plasma cannon. So I'm also going to show you how to make it, you know, triple barrel or single barrel. It's up to you what what uh, how you build this but anyway i'm gonna show you my method first so i'm gonna make visible here so i'm gonna put oops the weapon controller down here i need base right so let's put a uh, nexus by the way make sure to use uh big axis if you're going to build a plasma cannon because it's very heavy for some reason and also plasma cannons use some ammunition they're not it's not just you know battery power so be careful right so first thing you want to do is you want to build some connector hubs like this and then you want to connect these guys once on the edge some else right and then you have this collector four sides and if you look at the picture right it has kind of like a square from a packer from a cram cannon can you see it that thing make sure that that is facing outside of your turret just like this right so just like this and then we need chambers right by the way more chambers means more firepower as because you're going to fire a higher load basically but it also means that you're not going to have a lot of dps but dps comes from generators so as you can see they are facing horizontally like this but i want you to face uh, put them like this i'm actually going to check if i'm doing this right Case. Traitors etched. Yeah, so that is working. Okay. So that is working. So as you can see, this is the pattern that I'm going to use. Make sure that connect all of them. And don't cross the line, obviously. I have one here. This is so far, this is the best method I found to make like a balanced plasma cannon. You can also make this cannon like a triple shotgun cannon, which is really cool. And I think I might convert some of my ships to plasma because they're very good. Now, as you can see down here, because of the uh, turret, right? I'm sacrificing some generators, but that's fine because generators are very expensive. So as you can see, I have chamber and I have a generator. Now, if you want more DPS, what you can do is you can do go like this and then do another one like this. Actually, that's wrong. You put it like this, right? because you're going to have a generator down here and then, then a generator up here that if you want dps with less power but if you want just you know more damage at a reasonable cost you want to build it like this so next thing is i want to build these guys again but this time I don't have to connect the L's because they are connected from the bottom, right? So I'm gonna build another layer here. Not gonna prefab it because because of the turret underneath, sacrificing some generators. So I wanna make sure that this layer is actually good. Oh, hold on a second. That is wrong. Yep, that's wrong. So I need to put this again. Like 
this. I'm gonna put all these cannons on the workshop. Oh, and oops, make sure they're like this. They have to be vertical because of the limited space that we have here. So, fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, we're gonna connect um, facing up so these chambers are connected. that you can connect all of them this and then the middle one make sure to use mirror mode and you know I was worried because I don't really like to Tetris uh, packs right so we have 120 charges by the way uh, charges have a limit it's 200 charges right but here's the thing if you have more than 200 and you have a triple barrel you can split that extra charges to the other barrels anyway this is pretty good right now but i want it i want it taller because how much is it it's four blocks high let's make it a bit bigger so i can now i can prefab it like this so we have, I think that's six, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's keep it, let's keep it this size. I don't, I don't wanna, don't want to exaggerate. So up here, you can something like this. To find the middle of your turret, like so. And we're gonna put, I think I'm, I'm gonna put an AA uh, mantlet, right? Because it connects, as you can see, it connects directly below, which is convenient. This one, oh, this one also connects. Oh, no, no, never mind. This one connects as well. So now I need a barrel, so I'm gonna attach an accelerator. I'm gonna use eight meters, that's more than enough. Then I'm gonna use some heater sinks below and use so magnetic stabilizer i like that one for now so as you can see we have 11 generation charges per second and we have 248 charges but like i said only caps to 200 so basically we have too many chambers you can like remove some of the chambers if you want and add more generators but yeah, right now this is not bad. So I'm gonna add 200, 200 cooling per second. Right, and I'm gonna reduce the speed here. I think 1000 is more than enough. More. Yeah, I think. So we're generating 11 charges per second. So if I shoot 40, right, it should, should shoot uh, every four seconds. But you I also have to limit the RPM. But anyway, let's test this thing for now. Then I'm gonna show you how to make it double barrel. Right, I'm just gonna let the AI shoot. Might miss a little bit, but. You can see overheating a lot, doing Good amount of damage there and it has a good dps as well shooting every four seconds but i think it's overheating is it overheating no no it's fine just have to limit the rpm a little bit as you can see, it's doing around 40k damage. Time it shoots, so it's not bad. And you know, you, you can make this wider, you can make this taller, right? Also, another thing, see how I put the collectors on the front? You might want to put them at the back, so that if you get shot, right, you just lose 
some chambers but i made it like this so it's a bit more uh, visually nice as you can see the iron maiden is not doing so well how much do you cost sir so this thing cost 100 and 100k right and a bit more but material per firepower is not bad i could probably make it a bit better but uh one thing that you can do is you can reduce the number of generators so for example here we have two chambers right we have a four and we have a four meter here so you can for example reduce the number of generators for example you can have two per four meter chamber you know i just left it like this so you guys can see how powerful it is so next thing is i'm gonna make this thing a triple cannon okay so what you're going to do is you see how it's nine by nine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split it three three and three right so i'm going to put these guys here just to show you how it's gonna look make sure that everything is absolutely the same i'm gonna copy the settings like this I'm also gonna put the barrel heat sinks. Make sure the heat sink is stuck inside here because I was super confused. Oh, and by the way, I actually found out that plasma cannons are very good for dog fighters, but I'm gonna show you that uh, later on this week. All right, so we have uh, three cannon here, but they're not connected because. We need to split this cannon now so what i'm gonna do this is why i told you to use these uh, l connections or uh four point connections so i'm gonna use something like this right and here connector like this see how it is it's a loop and we're also gonna loop it from here that should work so now we have 76 96 and 76 so you might be like oh no draco it's not balanced it's 96 i know don't worry so what you can do is you can remove some of these chambers here make it perfect as you can see now 72 76 76 so you have to play a little bit with the chambers and you also want to check how much generation you have so this one has 3.65 this one has 3 and this one has 3.65 so you might want to put some extra generators here so for example let's see let's make it perfect right so we need you have to actually look at the gun 3.65 3.05 right let's put double generators here so these are adding how much they're adding 0 0.1 only wow so we need quite a lot that's, how's that okay that's too much 0.65 okay that is a perfectly balanced perfectly balanced guys okay so let's test it now with a triple cannon barrel so it's shooting it's, let's see it's charging 3.65 right and what i said to so that's gonna be more than 10 seconds because like three times 10 is uh, 10 seconds right let's do let's let me think here let's do 27 seven Oh, and by the way, uh, you can't breadboard. You cannot breadboard this right now. But uh, I hope you can, because I might like change the settings on the fly with a breadboard. You know, do some crazy stuff like that. Please hit. Oh my god. Charging. And what I noticed is that with a triple cannon, you are dissipating a lot more heat, right? Because like you're splitting the energy between three cannons. 
So yeah, it's it's not bad. Okay. It's not bad damage. So it's shooting around every six seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's around seven. It's around seven. Okay, that's not bad. So another thing you can do with triple cannons, and I re really like this, is you can make them shotgun. So you have this one, magnetic splitter. And we're going to split these plasma cannons. So over here you have charge, charge used. Uh, it, it was set to 27, right? So as you can see, damage per shot is two times 36, but uh, you can reduce this. Now we have 8 times 10, that's 80k damage. Uh, let's decrease accuracy. If you decrease your accuracy to spread the uh, plasma more, right, you're gonna get more damage, which is nice. Let's make it slow. You guys can see it. It's very slow here. I'm gonna make it very slow, so I'm just gonna copy settings here. And like I said, uh, plasma cannons use ammunition. Don't ask me why. I have no idea, but that's very efficient. 526. That's like two small boxes, right? Okay. Uh, I think we're all set. The only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn turn you off, right? I'm gonna offer you a nice target. For you a really nice target. I'll put it here. Uh, don't move, sir. There you go. So we have Excalibur, which is a. I mean, it's not a huge ship, but. I'm going to see. A bit of boom boom. And I think it missed. Yeah, it kind of missed. So now it has to. Charge. Taking a while. It's kind of like a pack now. Uh, no, I mean, uh, a cram cannon. You can see. So if you want to make, make it. Build it like this. Maybe you want to put more generators. Look at that. Opening it. Good. Did you fire? Let's see you fire. You can also make them, you know, sync up if you want. But uh, I'm not gonna bother doing that. Oh my god. This is so cool to watch. And uh, another thing you need to know about uh, part, uh, plasma cannons is that the amount of charges can change the sound of the cannon itself. But that. How deep did you go there? Pretty deep. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh wow. Went pretty deep. So imagine having this, right? You're having two of these, and you have like an APS cannon, just a regular APS cannon, and you make it fire just after this guy, right? This guy opens up the ship, and then you have like a big, nice frag HE shell going in. But I don't think the plasma cannons are very good main offensive weapons. And this week I'm also gonna test uh, and compare it to like a Sea Wiz, for example, an APS Sea Wiz. And we're gonna do do some tests with this uh, type of uh, new weapon. But as you can see, it's opening the Excalibur pretty good. So the Excalibur is quite close. Let's. Let's spread the shells a little bit, right? This is going to increase the damage. Let's see what happens. Let's try once more. Please don't don't shoot at the tower, thank you. Because I can already see you aiming there. Okay. Just wants the tower. Okay, yeah. Shoot there, yeah. So I was going to manual aim there, but whatever come on come on yes I think it's gonna aim Ooh. look at that 
Wow. Obviously, you can change the color of the plasma cannon. You can make it whatever color you want. Anyway, that's the shotgun. Let's do let's do some DPS now, right? Let's do magnetic stabilizer again. But uh, I'm gonna shoot quite fast. Let's do let's do two because we can do three, right? All right. Two. Uh, let's give you some speed. That's fine. I mean, 800 meters per second, that's way enough. Let's add this part. You can see, just did. You can still breadboard this, right? For example, you can make it burst like this every few seconds. You just need to know the exact timing. Because what you can do is you can uh, make a breadboard. Even an ACB will work. And you basically turn off the uh, local weapon controller for a second or two until it charges again. By the way, the heat sinks. I can literally just remove the heat sinks right now because it's, as you can see, just just enough right now. So uh, apparently the plasma cannon doesn't do very well damage, good damage when it's shooting below water. So I don't think it's a good viable weapon for submarines, you know. You can see it's doing some. Crazy DPS, even if it's not a DPS uh, turret, because uh, like I said, if you want to make it a DPS turret, right? You want less chambers and you want more generators, but uh, that's gonna co co that's going to cost you more. I mean, okay. Now let's say you wanna make this a double turret, right? Move that. All you have to do. Is we have to reconnect the. Ah, actually, I'm not a. Into middle, right? So we're going to reconnect these. Like so. And then we can remove the middle. And just remove the middle here. And in the middle, if you want, you can. First of all, you can put a local weapon controller right on top. Your turrets. Uh, For example, right now the local weapon controller is right here. It. Move it. Right. Huh? No? Right, so you put a piece of rubber like this. So a bit more EMP protected. Uh, local weapon controller, make sure you use the big one. And you have battles and what it can do as well going to do a second connect it here and you can connect it here don't even need this how much is this oh this thing is a hundred you can connect it like this, right? You can put uh, batteries here. You can put, you know, uh, you can put whatever you want. You can put some generators here, some extra ones. Right. It's going to give us a bit more DPS. Let's see here. So charges ER. Okay, it's 5.5, which is pretty good. So 5.5, right? Uh, let's do that 10. Let's do 15. Going to shoot around every three seconds. Item like this. 
You can also uh, limit the RPM so it doesn't, you know, discharge all of them. You can see it's doing doing some really good damage there. You can also like uh, make the turrets a bit more separated so you can armor them a bit better. But I mean, it's up to you. And if you oh, if you want to make a sea whiz, right? You want to use the magnetic stabilizer. But I'm still like testing. I'm still testing uh, sea whiz. It's like it doesn't do a lot of damage. You can see it's doing like one k per per second, which uh, it's actually a little less. Actually, a little less, right? But the shotgun one, shotgun one seems to do some of the best damage overall. Uh, yeah, let's try like that. So it's a hundred charges, right? So it's taking twenty seconds to shoot. It's quite quite a long time, actually. Because it has to fill up all those uh, charges and like I said if you want to make it like this what you can do is you can add more generators and a little less chambers but that's going to cost you a lot more money because this thing is like 100k for sure right now this size you hitting by the way no you're not oh my god you're spreading so much are spreading so much now don't spread doing some crazy damage like this you can see doing like 100k every time yeah, those are the Plasma Cannons. Plasma Tetris Cannons by Drake MT. Thank you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I'm going to put this platform with this Tetris on my Steam Workshop. I'm going to leave a description or link below. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you and I'll see you this week again where I'm going to build some crazy builds. We're going to build a plane that uses just plasma and some missiles. Thank you for watching and see you again.